Hi friends, we're in New York City. Um, so never been to New York before and it's been so fun. We just got here yesterday <coughs> and today it has started snowing. I'm gonna flip it around. Uh, we're gonna do an Ophir Live today. Um, I'm gonna get ready with you and sorry that I'm a little sniffly. Uh, we have had like seven degree weather back home for I don't know, seven, 28 degrees. It's just been freezing, like 10 degree days, three degree days. And so I just, then we came out here and we've been walking out here. And so I am a little like sniffly. So I'm gonna apologize in advance, but do you guys wanna see? So we're staying at the plaza. Um, we got a really good deal. If you're ever traveling, like highly recommend searching those like deal websites like Expedia, Priceline, anything like that. Um, so it normally allows us to stay somewhere kind of fancier than what we, we have four kids, so we have to budget our trips. So, um, but it normally allows us to stay somewhere fancier. So look at this, this is the fanciest hotel room I've ever been in. Um, I'll have to show you guys like the lobby. Well, our room is kind of, it looks like Courtney and Adam have been in here. It's like a mess, um, but it is so cute so fancy here uh but you guys want to see the snow so we're across from an office building and you can see um all these different people working it has been like i've sat here and just i watched a guy eat a bag of chips and other guys on his phone um but we're gonna do an oh fear live today <laughs> they have 40 percent off with the code ice 40 and 40 percent off with the code face 40 depending on what products you're gonna buy um but before we do that i just want to share the snow Okay, so it is like snowing and it's, I think, windy snowing today because there's snow coming up and there's snow going down. So, um, yes, the Home Alone movie is at the plaza and I'm serious. It smells like orchids. It is like incredibly grand. We're going to do tea at the plaza today and they have like little tea cakes. But let me zoom you in and see if we can find anyone to spy on um do we see any people uh, all right and i'll tell you about our trip so far man oh there's a guy at a desk hang on let me move my phone down just a little i think he's eating everybody's eating uh there he is do you see him anyways uh, right there in the middle of the screen. Hello, sir. It's hard with the snow. It like doesn't want to focus. There you go. You can see him. He's right in the middle. Um, but there's people everywhere. There's another guy over here. He's in his building. Um, why this is so, I mean, I live in Tennessee, um, where definitely look how tall this building is. Hang on where it is like, look at this. You, My phone went on, I'm on the 16th floor and that is how much higher up it is than me. Like the city is just so gigantic. Um, so crazy. Okay, so let's talk about our trip and let's get ready. Um, hoping I packed a primer. I even purposely was like, I got a new primer in. Yeah, I did. Yay. <coughs> I might meet up with Courtney and Brandy for those asking. Um, it'll depend on how our, I thought I was staying until Monday and then we looked at our flights and I'm actually saying I leave Sunday. So I don't know if I'll get to make it. Um, okay. So here we go. Okay, when you first get your primer, this is a brand new tube, you kind of have to like get, there you go, like burp it, that's what they call that. It's where you get the air out of it. Um, I'm obsessed with their uh, Dewy Skin Primer. It just leaves your skin being so good. Um, yeah, we are high up. High, high. Okay, so yesterday we got here, we were able to do an early check-in, which was amazing. And um, we dropped off our bags and then we were like okay let's go we have like a list of things we want to do and um chinatown it was on our list and so we went to chinatown and um 
I'm gonna have to like wipe my nose. You know when you start like rubbing your face? Your nose just starts running, it's so gross. Um, <clears throat> Adam went to get us coffee, and so I'm really hoping he gets back soon. Okay, so uh, going in with the shade Cardamon. Again, you can save 40% off face stuff with the code FACE40. Um, and that's like primer, foundation, setting powder, uh, if setting powder is back in stock, uh, bronzer, and then, or if you're like, no, I need to stock up on eyes, you can save 40% using eyes 40. Um, so we went to Chinatown. It took us like, so we went through the subway. I've never gone to a subway. Well, I did in Canada, but it's not the same. And I was terrified. I was like, are we sure this is safe? I've seen TikToks where like, I don't know, it just looks so scary. So he was like, no, we're gonna be totally fine. I've done the subway, I don't know how many times. It's safe. It's so, it was totally safe. Uh, I had, I panicked before getting there. Like it's, it's so intimidating and so scary. It was totally fine. So in case you're wondering, are you terrified to subway? It Maybe sometimes it was bad, but pretty much it was just like regular. It was like, well, it was totally normal. There's nothing too weird about it. And uh, we went to Chinatown and there are so many barber shops there. And so he was like, I want to go and get a haircut at the barber shop or like a beard trim. And so I'm like, okay. So he found one that he like liked, walked in, language barrier. We could not understand each other whatsoever. And he just like motioned like what he wanted. The guy whips out a straight razor and just starts like, leans it back in his chair his chair goes totally back and starts just like tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a. and the cleanest smoothest shave adam was like if i lived in new york i would do this every three days let and it was ten dollars ten uh while we were there all the women who worked there though i guess had never felt red hair um he was like a celebrity with his red hair they were all like rubbing his head and saying like all natural all natural and that was pretty much as much as we could communicate I had the best time um we like I guess when you can't it, like speak language like you smile a lot with each other like so we we're like smiling and laughing I had so much fun they cut his hair um I would go back there a million times it was just so fun and um I had the greatest time so highly recommend if you're in uh trying to town and get your husband a, a beard trim. Um, although I've never seen someone like actually straight razor. I was like, Oh, please be careful. Like it's so dangerous. Um, so, uh, that is kind of how that went. Again, it was really cute. I told him he's always wanted to go to Japan. And I was like, I wonder if we go to Japan, if you'll be like a celebrity there because you have such bright red hair and, or Veda has like bright blonde hair. I'm like, wonder if people think they're really cool um but he loved it he, if you know adam he does love to be kind of the center of attention and um he's really funny like he naturally like the room is always on him i don't know if that makes sense have you ever met someone where you're like not because they're trying to be the center of attention but you just like gravitate everyone gravitates towards him um and his personality and so that's how it was at, at the barbershop so we did that. We ate at one of those like authentic Chinatown places that have like chickens hanging in the window and we got some dumplings and I've taken pictures, but I really tried to not be on my phone too much. Um, I think when you do content for your life, like I'm lifestyle content, right? Um, it, it felt like I'm on my phone a lot. And if really for this, trip I was like I want to document but I also really just want to like enjoy time with my husband without all of our four kids here so um oh, you lived in New York your whole life okay if you've been to New York City um let me know what your favorite thing you did was if you've ever been um I'm gonna show you the snow again and then I'm gonna keep doing my makeup because the snow it doesn't snow where I live except this one time this week it snowed um and before that my kids have only seen snow twice in their life uh, so if that tells you, but here you go. Uh, if you, yes, if you need earring links, um, sweater links, I have on jeans as well. If you just need links, I did link those so you can save me and it'll send you links or links for over your products. Uh, okay, here you go. The snow, the snow. Look, this guy's cutting paper. Hang on. Oh, it's just so fun to find people work while they're at their work. 
Can you find him? He's bending down. Let's see. Oh, it might be me. I might not be doing a good job letting you. It's really hard. Oh, yeah, there he is. Top right corner. He's like khaki pants. It looks like a sweater vest with a collar. If I go in too close, you can't see him. He's working. I'm sure he's doing something very professional today. Uh, this guy over here is also at his desk working. Um, <laughs> it's so fun. Um, okay, there are a couple things. My legs are going to sleep. I'm going to have to like get off my knees for a second and get some problems here. <clears throat> okay, there's a few things that I did not know were like real New York. Um, and this might sound silly to you for those who grew up here, but... We get off the plane and um, I'll get ready while I talk. We get off the plane and I'd heard in movies like New York accents, but also I'd heard Italian accents. So I assumed that like maybe if you were in Italy or if you'd moved from Italy and you had like a pizza place, you have an accent, but there were genuine like I just thought that was a movie thing because uh, sometimes people will be like for Tennessee, they'll be like, Hey y'all, like everybody in Tennessee talks like this, but I don't think that we do. And, um, so I didn't think that a New York, I guess the New Yorker accent or like when we go, we've gone out West and I'm like, I can't really tell a really big difference in accents or, um, I don't know. Anyways, I have been so excited to, um, and so many different types of people are here and, uh, everyone so far, no one's been horribly hateful. Um, and no one's been hor like really super nice either, but it's not been bad. I like was so worried if everyone's going to be really mean and other, oh, horn honking. Um, that is actually not a movies thing either. Um, I thought the horn honking was like, oh, uh, like on a movie, I don't know, just to make it seem really busy that they like honk horns. Mm -mm. No. Um, no, they honk horns. Like the people here, the light has not even changed and they're like honking at you. I have like a walking man. I am a rule follower. I have a walking man symbol. I waited my turn and the light has not even changed and they're already honking at you. Like, and then I can see why people might get aggravated because I would say I'm not an angry person, actually. Like, I'm so pretty much peacemaker, even killed. And I want to be like, I have the walking man. Like, just give me a minute. It's icy. It's freezing. Like, chill. Where do you have to go right now? You're not being very nice. So, horns are real. And pigeons. Um, also th thought it was movie. Like, from movies, I don't know, like cartoons, it's like shows the city and there's always pigeons and I'm like, that's so cute. Um, no, they're actually, and if you live in the city, you're probably like, this girl never gets out, which is true. Um, but they're, I've taken more pictures of pigeons than I've taken of Adam. Um, I've been so fascinated by how we don't have pigeons where I live. I don't know why they haven't decided they would like it there, but, um, I've maybe seen two pigeons before. Uh, and there are, they're everywhere. Like I could, it, like I saw the movie Home Alone, which is done here at the plaza and, um, the pit, the lady who feeds the birds. I don't know. I just thought like maybe it was a coincidence that day. There were some birds and they were hungry. Uh, or that's just like what she does. But because she feeds them, they're there. Did not even realize there were going to be so many. Uh, so that's been, I don't know. I don't feel like these are really great details. But in case you've never been, it's like, oh, well, that's really fun. Um, hey, did you get coffee? Yeah. Sweet. Can I have that? Um, okay, so... We went to dinner last night at a place called Patsy's, um, and you had to walk past Times Square to get there. Uh, for those of you wondering, and if you're wanting to use the code FACE40, you can use it on bronzer. This is the darkest color bronzer. It's in the shade Deep. And this is, oh, thanks, you're the best. Um, and then this is Apricot, and it's just like the most beautiful blush. And I also need to use setting powder. Typically, I would do setting powder before I did um, bronzer and 
blush, but I got distracted by talking about the snow and here we are. Okay, here we go, but I'm not gonna forget. Also, you can tell how much you love a product when you can see pan. I love this. I think it's out of stock right now um, for good reason. It's the best setting powder I've ever used. Uh, I have like a collection graveyard of setting powders that I've tried and this one just like stands the test of time. When it restocks, you're gonna wanna get it. I'll let you know when it does. Or you could check, it might be. You better wear that big jacket. Is it cold, cold today? <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell them about my jacket experience. How have I missed that? I told you about the pigeons. Okay, so we went shopping, or like looking around in shops, and there was like, I love um, like thrifting. I love secondhand stores. I love buying used. Um, I, I, that might sound silly to some of you, but I really do. I, and I love like 80s vintage coats. Uh, I found the most spectacular secondhand store and coat. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Oh, my knees. Oh, my knees. Uh, don't want to see it. So I got two jackets actually. So we went to one store first and I'm layered up. If you're like, well, it's on. It's cold here today and snowy and we have a carriage horse carriage ride in Central Park and I know it's going to be cold and so I have two jackets. I'll show them. Okay, this I've never seen anything like it in my whole life. We walked into the store. I was actually looking for Adam a coat and I was like, hey, you totally let's go in here like they might have pea coats, you know, because people here. Do you see this? So it's got to be at least 40 or 50 years old. I mean, it's like line. It has different fabrics. Um, for Okay, I'm going to show you. Oh, I don't know if I've ever witnessed anything more beautiful. And so I got it. But it's also incredibly heavy. So I had to carry it around in the bag yesterday. And it has pockets. And in the pockets... Are you ready? It was a dirty tissue and, um, but little <laughs> petite gloves. <sighs> like, can you even with this? <sighs> Just love thrifting. I, um, love it. Then we found another store where the lady was so nice. Her name was Ellen and she's 65 and she's had her business here for 21 years and um I got a jacket from her I'll show it to you <sighs> mob wife era commencing um okay so here they do have a little hole okay but I'm they are there are tailors everywhere here and I'm gonna see if I can have somebody fix the hole in the gloves but what a sweet surprise in the pocket I just can like imagine I don't know, this like New Yorker woman wearing this whole, whole outfit, like with her gloves. Um, and now I get to be that pretend New Yorker woman for like two days. Um, anyway, but I'm going to wear this back home. Uh, it reminds you of Jolly Barton. No better compliment. Okay. Now do you want to see the other one? And then I really will finish my makeup. I promise. Um, just so good. Okay, so I wish I had a link, but it's old. It's ancient. Um, same thing with this next jacket I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm also going to have to buy another suitcase because I'm just not going to have room. Do you have other? Oh, no, here it is. Okay, then at Ellen's store, some of the stuff here is pricey. Like, you just don't know. You could walk in and something is like $40. I have, actually haven't seen anything for $40. But you walk in and something's 40 or 4,000. I mean, you have no idea what something's going to be. So I saw her, she was actually wearing this jacket and it just looked so warm and cozy and it has a hood, right? This is total eighties jacket as well. Um, hello. Like, do I look like the lady from home alone that could feed the birds? Like if I could stash, I might hide a bread roll in my pocket today, just in case I run across some pigeons. Anyways, and it's big. Um, so under a hundred dollars. And I was like, 
Well, this is actually probably very practical for our trip because it's, I did a trench coat, but it's like not actually warm. And this thing, it goes all the way down, like to below your knees warm. Anywho, uh, that's been my, and it almost has like a, huh, I don't know. It's not leopard, but it gives you the vibe. <laughs> and I just love vintage clothes. Uh, so I'm hoping we find a few other uh, places. Um, but I'm sure one of the days we are going to go shopping and this sweater is just Amazon. Um, I don't want to lose my precious gloves. Okay, let's finish up. I'm sure my husband is hungry. Uh, we are going to, where are we going? Museum of Natural History. There are a lot of museums. Um, Museum of National History. Natural. Natural. Just kidding. Oh, that makes, I thought you were wanting to go to a, like a, a war museum, no, but this, this is, is like Cool. Okay. Well, that's, I thought we were going to like a, well, that's exciting. Okay. Your mom had that coat. <gasps> Susan, you'll have to send her a screenshot of my video and be like, mom, do you remember this? Um, you wear that length in Maine. It really is so snowy. It's so exciting here. Oh. All right. Let's do this. I'm gonna finish my whole look in like one four minutes okay i travel with this palette all the time it's pretty much one palette that has warm tones and cool tones it's the perennial palette you can say 40 percent if you use the code eyes 40. um if you share this video and comment share below i'll give away one of these palettes today they really are so wonderful um so or if you like my videos in general if you could tell a friend like hey I like following this girl um I think you might like her too anytime you guys ever do something like that it just makes the biggest difference um uh because the internet is like a really hard place to have a business um because there's a lot of competition out there friends okay I just go in with this color but if you share the museum of natural history is the one where they like two months ago they cloned um that the brontosaurus the dinosaur so they've got the baby brontosaurus i thought you were gonna be serious adam i hate when he does that did you hear what he just said so he does things sometimes and they sound so convincing and real and he has such a straight face he said the museum of natural history is where they cloned the baby dinosaur last month so they have a baby bronchiosaurus right there and i thought he was actually gonna say they i knew when he said it was a baby bronchiosaurus it's not real <laughs> But he does this to me all the time. And a lot of times, like, I guess I'm just gullible. Um, I'm not that quick because he's so fast sometimes. And so um, a lot of times I'll be, like, telling someone else a story. Like, did you hear? Da -da 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 -da. And then it's a total lie. Like, it's not even real. And um, he'll be like, why are you telling them that? I'm like, you told me. And he's like, that wasn't true. Like, I was just kidding with you. I'm like, well, you have to tell me if you're like not telling the truth. Okay, let's go in. But I knew that one was not the truth. He's just trying to be funny. Um, yeah. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a fluffy crease brush and go in this kind of nutmeg color. It's the top right hand side. And we're just gonna add a little bit. This is just such a good palette because you can't go wrong with it. It's so easy. I can do my makeup in like 30 seconds with it. <sighs> this is an all over the place live. I personally love these. I feel like in my regular mom life, well, I stay home most days all the time and I don't normally have anything fun and exciting new. Like I might be like, oh, Veda pee peed on the potty. Um, but this trip, I'm like, so much to be able to talk about. Okay, what's been your favorite part so far? Huh? What's been your favorite part so far? My favorite part? I don't know, just walking around. Just walking, walking around. Getting out, walking around. Probably around. watching me be so excited. I'm like, the buildings here are beautiful uh they seriously are stunning i'm wearing the navy jacket today so i'm adding a little navy into the corner of my eye not much i can already tell you that's too much on my brush so what I, what if you ever get too much on your brush 
you can apply to one eye and then go and apply to the other eye. And then that should kind of take half of it off. This is a super easy, like smoky eye. I go a little in the crease. Um, the, what you don't want though, is like too much, <laughs> too much smoke. Um, okay, go just tap that same navy color. I'm going on the outer corner. I'm sweating in this outfit, but when I go outside, I won't be. Oh. She's retelling one of his facts that he had just made up and she was so mad. That happens to me. So, I wish I could think off the top of my head about what are some things that I've thought were true that weren't? He doesn't know. I don't know. Um, it really, so. Okay, so we're going to go in with, um, not that. Where am I? I have so much makeup in this bag. Oh. I'm looking for the shade Red Clay. It is a eyeliner, but I'm gonna use it on my lips. Let me move this away from you guys so you're not having to hear me rummage. It's one of my pet peeves. If I watch other people's videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna hear you go through that. Found it. Um, and then, red clay so it's like a really pretty shade and then I also want this white in the middle and then I'll do a lip gloss and I'll show you okay, okay here we go <sighs> there is a link for my sweater it's in my Amazon storefront and it's also if you just drop the word link or me in the thing here um, it will send uh, like I can auto send you a link. Okay, so the palette I used was the perennial palette. I'll do mascara in a minute. Found my liner. So this is an eyeliner, but you can completely use it on your lips. I do this all the time. It also has 24 hour stay, which is great. You miss our podcast. I miss them too. We like, uh, I think I took that on thinking after school started would be a good time for that. Um, and to be honest, it like wasn't. And then realistically trying to do everything for the kids plus for like my job like how am I gonna feed my children and trying to keep up with all and I've tried to increase my content um so there are certain years where it's like oh yay we've like made a lot of sales and then there's other years where it like dips down and all these things so I'm like you know <laughs> things are a little slower you pick up you know you try to do more work and so um I did not uh like account for trying to work more and do a po and the podcast was just kind of for fun like genuinely I was just really excited like hey this would be really fun and so it's either I can do lives with you guys or I can figure out how to do podcasts and so uh right now it's lives I'm not saying we won't ever do a podcast um maybe like once a month I think that's doable but I haven't figured that out yet okay this is the shade um chalk shine hello chalk shine uh and I'm just putting it right in the center you look like a pantomime fun fact i did pantomiming when i was homeschooled uh, from ninth grade until 12th grade full white face and we traveled with a church what i've told you that before no, you didn't. yes i did that thing where we we're like you know like total dance moves yeah no surely i've told you, you that <laughs> Yeah, I did for four years oh, and traveled every weekend. Four years, you were a senior. You were. I was a senior. Yeah, and I was traveling. Pantomiming. pantomiming. Oh, I wore God. a black robe, white gloves, white I face. I was homeschooled. Um, I no. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't either. It was a big part. And you we would do. Tell people that on the first date. 
I don't think I would ever want to tell somebody you back all the crazy. Six years? Uh. Oh my gosh. Well, do you still love me? Um, so I don't do pantomiming anymore. No, if you do, that's fine. But so it was like, it'd be like, for every mountain. And there would be like dance moves. If you'd like turn around and twirl. And there's like a whole choreographed church pantomime group. And it was fun. We got to go to like different places. It was kind of the only, because I was homeschooled growing up. And uh, it was kind of like one of the only times I got to get out of the house. And so I was like, yay, we're going to go. I didn't care. I was pantomiming. Uh, and people would want to take their pictures with you afterwards. And I was like, well, that's kind of fun. Uh, all right. You can do any lip gloss over it. Um, <clears throat> name a fun fact about yourself that maybe someone doesn't know, drop it below. There's my uh, embarrassing fun fact, is that I was a, oh, would you call it professional if you did it no, for four years? I was a mime, I was a mime. You were a mime in training for five years. Just four. I didn't know. And I'm not kidding. Like that isn't even a joke. I know it's not a joke. That's, That's real. <laughs> I'm so excited today. So there are horses with jackets on. They're so beautiful and they have feathers on their heads. I'll take a picture so you can see. And we're gonna do a horse ride in Central Park. I hope it's not too cold, um, but they, oh no. That's like saying you've got a national ranking for playing <laughs> Magic the Gathering a card game. That's what that, it is just insane. This is like almost dried up, you guys. I, when that happens i had a brand new one at home hello what are you doing <laughs> they're just watching you're on your knees over this window <laughs> i know it's i was squatted squatted but Wait, i was you see the dinosaur come on uh, Ooh, amy says she used to pick lottery numbers on tv we should do a live one day that's like two truths and a lie and everybody participate and then we'll try and find out who's lying and who's telling the truth Okay, so don't forget, y'all, this is going to be a pitiful mascara day. Their mascara is normally fantastic unless you grab an old one that's kind of dried out and you didn't grab. I grabbed the new primer, but I just forgot. Uh, I thought I had more of a leg on it left. Um, okay, so their mascara has castor oil. I couldn't think of the, all I could think of was cortisol. I'm like, it doesn't have cortisol or hydrocortisone, but it's castor oil and it actually lengthens and strengthens your lashes. And so I love using it, um, but normally it makes your lashes really long. I'm just dried out. But if you do want to try it, um, they'll send you fresh new tube and uh, it won't be dried out. Like I've gotten my money's worth out of this one. Um, I am the world's worst to use something for a really long time. I hate throwing things away. I take Q-tips and like use the very last bit of my lipstick. I cut my lotion bottles, cut them like with scissors. Same thing with toothpaste. Like I love getting every last drop, but this one might end up in the trash when we leave here. Ooh, run it under hot water. It's a good idea. Maybe I could get a little extra out of it. Um, but it really is good. And then if you use the coast eyes 40, you can get it 40% off. It's just going to be what it is today. Uh, so t we're also going to a spa today. Uh, Adam booked a place that has these different pools that you go into and it's like a brick building with these pools. It's called the air spa maybe. And um, we're gonna go do that. We have a lot, and then we have a nine forty-five dinner. Where, where are we going for dinner? Uh, Nobu fifty-seven. Nobu fifty-seven, and we're going there nine forty-five. I'm normally in bed, done my skincare. Wild girl tonight. We'll see if we make it till nine forty-five. He said, "We'll see if we make it that far." Also, we'd plan to sleep in this morning. Our kids FaceTimed us at eight o'clock. Yeah, you know, even when you don't have kids with you, your kids, they're with you. All right, friends.
take my scrunchie out, show you kind of a finished little look. Okay, I'm gonna put a scarf on and we're gonna go get breakfast. Don't know where. Um, but here's my full face makeup look. And um, don't forget, if you're gonna shop off here, the link is in the description of the video. And then also um, that use the code eyes 40 or face 40 to save 40%. So guys, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.